Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, Emily and I are going to do a pour, an acrylic pouring, and we are going to do a different kind of uh, recipe. I'm not going to use the baby oil on this one, so we're going to see if we can get any uh, cells. But what we are going to use is our glazing medium from Folk Art. Hit that autofocus off. And so what we're going to do excuse my arm we're going to take mod podge mat and we're going to pour about a half a cup into that cup let's see all right and what this is going to do is act as our pva glue you know that kind of thing and then i'm going to add a little bit of water Probably about, I usually go about a half or an eighth rather to a quarter. And then we are going in with the glazing medium. Now I think I'm going to go in with the glazing medium. I think I'm going to try it in the paint. So put that down. We'll wait on that. Now we're going to tell you the colors we're going to use. Don't hit that because I usually knock that over. We're going to use the Folk Art Color Shift in Yellow Flash. We're going to give it a gold shake. Go ahead. We're going to do about a tablespoon. Because today I'm going to, we're going to over pour. How much? A little bit more. Okay. And you can see that's all we're going to do color wise because I'm only using a, I think this is 8 by 10 mm -hmm. uh, canvas. And you can see it's gessoed. All right, next color is, what color is this? Oh, I'm old. Pink Carnation by Martha Stewart, and that is in a satin. And the reason I want to use satin is for some shine, some, some sheen. And we're going to see how it works. Do it in this one since it's already pink. And about the same amount. We're going to use this, I think this is a uh, orange, it's called podge orange, whatever that means. And we're going to do about a tablespoon of that. Which one? Whichever one you want. The black's dry, so that won't hurt anything. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. That's what she said. That much more? Yep. No, you're good. And then we're going to use some of this delicious uh, folk art metallic in blue topaz. I'm just giving them a shake. Then you can put it in there. Now, I went to the dollar store weeks ago and I got two of these metal, you know, roasters. Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. We're going to use brushed metal in, what color is that? Brushed pearl gold. Brushed pearl gold. Shake it. Shake this one. We'll wait. Okay. And then we have brushed copper. Brushed metal in brushed copper. Okay. Now what I'm gonna try? Oh, dropped it. <laughs> now what I'm gonna try? As long as you have to mix it, when we have 50 more minutes. Just you can use one. You just want to use the back end. I use that white one right there, where the glitter is. Yeah, because those are yeah. Because you can tell that's really low. Now I'm gonna take some glazing medium, and I'm gonna actually add it into here, uh, into these paints, and I want it to be almost like a whipped, how you say, maybe a sour cream. So I'm going to add, yeah, I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon. Is that right for them? Yeah. I mean, a quarter, a quarter of a tablespoon. I need to get, I'm going to go to the dollar store and get, um, not much of it. It'll pour because we've got to put the pouring medium in it yet. Oh, uh, never mind. People. I'm going to go to the dollar store and get measuring, um, spoons so I can give you guys more accurate. You guys have asked for a little bit more. Accurate. I kind of do it because you want it to be. You want it to kind of be. You see how that's like almost running, but it's not, we're gonna put the pouring medium in what we just made. It's 
to make it run. And like I said, I don't have a very big canvas today. We're going to kind of, you know, do it that way. And I'm not putting baby oil on it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link uh, down below here if you're on the computer and down below my video that I did the other day using baby oil, the Mod Podge, and that kind of thing. So you guys can see that with the baby oil and this is not going to be with baby oil. We're just going to use glazing medium and see what we get. I love experimenting. I love finding ways to do things where you don't have to, you know, spend a fortune or go out shopping for a fortune. So pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. I love the brushed metals. And if you just found my channel and would like to, please subscribe. The button's down below and click it and then click the bell next to it to get notified as I upload my new videos, which are usually about five, six times a week. Uh, I'm a mixed media artist and I love experimenting and that's what I like to do. What? What about my channel? Emily has a channel. I'm your guest. <laughs> Emily has a channel and I will link that as well down below and you always can find her channel and my husband's channel on my main YouTube page on the right hand side. That's good. Look how pretty. That is very pretty. <laughs> on the right hand side, uh, but I will link her down below where she does makeup and tries different things and hacks. So please go check her out. I'm trying to get her to a thousand before the end of the year. I don't know if we can do it, but we're going to try. Yeah, I don't know about that, but let's see. Almost mixed. A little more. These colors are good. Think they'll be put together? I think so. I think so. The glazing medium is going to give it a I, I, kind of thinned out glaze kind of look, right? But I'm not going to pour. Usually when I pour these, I like to manipulate the canvas a lot and I don't want to this time because I don't want it to mix together too, too much. We'll do it a little bit, but not much. Now stir the glue with the water. I picked these colors with care. Yes, Emily picked these colors. No, with care. With care. With care she picked them. And I think I'm even going to add like, I don't know, a few drops got here of the glazing in the Mod Podge as well. That's probably a teaspoon just to help add a little bit because you can never have too much because we're about doing it and doing it and doing it. Okay, so now you're going to pour about a tablespoon of that in each one. Well, you pour it because I'm real okay. good at And then you stir, right? I'll start with this one. So you see it's very milk-like. Is it mixed enough? Mm -hmm. And that's about a tablespoon. And what we're doing here is making, this is our pouring medium. So what that means is when we pour it, it's not mixing. Yeah, it's going to make it pour good. You know, it's thinning and out. And because the products that I'm using, the Mod Podge matte and the glazing medium, they're both clear when they dry. So it's going to, you know, the color, it's not going to change the color. Change the color. Yeah, it's not going to lighten it. It's going to be, let me just see, see how that is. Ooh, that's exciting. Oh, I forgot my pouring cup. Let me grab my pouring cup. Oh. Hi. I'm excited to pour this paint. Hope you all are doing well. Okay. Hmm. Gonna use a old ricotta cheese. What Italian girl don't have a ricotta cheese container? I have like five of these. <laughs> That's what that is. All right. It's very anxious to see. Now, I've been asked a million questions about this, and I'm gonna tell you, I've been playing with these. I've been working on the um, formulas and to see you know what works like I said the baby oil did really really well so using the baby oil rather than Floetrol or uh, silicone spray is definitely an option 
Um, I do have the flow troll and the uh, silicone sp spray as well where I have used it. But today we're going to play and we're going to see if we really have to use it. And it, what kind of colors we get and what kind of mixtures and how it looks. You know, all the fun stuff. Almost done. Yes. I know so many of you are so excited to try these. Look, you know, I'm saving yogurt cups and ricotta cups and you can use sour cream, whatever you have. Um, you can also, like I told you, go to the dollar store and you can get these red cups or you can get uh, small cups. I'm using, I have a lid that I've poured into. So you definitely can use whatever you have. Um, if you go to the dollar store and get your, you know, your cups from there, when you're done, take a paper towel or an old rag or whatever. Um, sometimes I save paper towels just for that reason, uh, from when I cook and that kind of thing. And all you do is, you know, wipe them out when you're done and then throw it away and you're good. Okay. Can I so start pouring? Here's what we're going to do first. Well, I was going to actually put it in the middle and pour so that they can no, see what I'm doing. Yeah. And then, why can't you do it like that? I love this bowl. Wait, I can see. All right. So decide what colors we're pouring first. Like what, how, what you want to put them in. Okay. I would do the light pink. For, okay. Uh -uh. Yeah. And you're doing it. All right, so we're doing the blue metallic. Pour it, you can pour it all in. I'm doing them in Oh, stages. she's doing it her own way. In stages. So I'm very excited to see. And you can see it's, it's very liquid. I'm doing it in stages. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're doing it yourself. I'm not helping. I'm doing the same. Good. You're not going to know until we flip. Did you do the gold over there in the corner? Not yet. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Daughters. Do you feel me? You can see we're not using any white, we're not using any black. But you can see we got a light color for the pink, so that's kind of going to imitate the white, you know, the lighter color to maybe make everything pop off of it. And then we have the brushed metal to, she's going to yell at me because I'm talking and bothering her. But then we're going to, um, have the brushed metal so when they dry i'm just so excited almost there almost yep. there gotta do it with care you gotta do it with passion yep you gotta do it with ocd is what she means you gotta do it with passion and detail ocd my daughter has ocd detail except when she cleans her room because she never cleans her room detail and care Perfection. I think she takes great uh, pleasure in driving me insane. So slow. So slow. Hey, I gotta do it with, with perfection in mind. It better come out nicer. I'm pouring it all over your head. I hope it comes out nice. It will. It should. I'm passionate about it. Well, as long as you're passionate about it, remember we're not going for perfection. We're going for progress. Well, I think it's perfection is progress. Well, that's why you're not on my channel a lot. We're almost done. Okay. All right. It's almost. All right. I'm so excited. I'm so am I. I sound it. <laughs> I'm focusing on the combination here. I also want to do a dirty pour one day, so I'm probably going to get her to help me do a dirty pour too, which at? I think will be fun. All right. We're going to do the rest of the pink. So I can show you guys what that is, what the dirty pour is. I've been playing and experimenting. Matter of fact, she's been angry at me because every time she has something to do, she's like, you're always, you're doing it without me. You're doing it without me. But I'm trying to perfect it. Okay, here's pink. And let me tell you something. You see that you can, these can stay in here. Well, yeah, gonna, but, you uh, know. Oh, right. I have nowhere to, where do you want me to put them? Oh, we'll just put just them. leave them in oh, here. Oh, no. I don't have any room. Oh, yeah, okay. we'll just put it there. Oh, all right. You gotta focus on what colors are there, or else I'm gonna think about the pink and then try and like space it around that, and then we won't have any left. Come on. You're really taking a long time to pour the I'm paint. I'm not. I'm Let not. Let me dry before you're done. No. 
Hey, you gotta be. So anyway, focusing. so so I've been practicing a lot, and I have a lot of fun, you know, a lot of cool things and cool ideas that we're gonna be doing, um, that I think are gonna be awesome. Just to like go up a level. Now these, of course, when you're done in their draw, you can definitely uh, paint on them, you know, with acrylic paint or what have you. You can definitely uh, Mod Podge over them with pictures or, you know, whatever, um, and use them as a background if you want. They're beautiful, beautiful abstract, um, you know, abstract uh, paintings when you're done, which are absolutely gorgeous as well. So, I mean, it's the sky's the limit. And let me tell you, I'm doing it on a small 8x10 canvas today, but however, you can definitely do it on cardboard. Make sure you uh, gesso it or put some sort of sealant on it. You can even Mod Podge it, uh, you know, just to seal it and um, do it on that to practice. I know people have written me, can you try? I, I do show you that I have done it on cardboard. Um, you just want to seal it first, you know, with Mod Podge. All right, whatever. everybody, last pour. Oh, dear God. Last pour. Let's do it. Okay. Well, technically, the canvas will be the last pour. Second to last pour. <laughs> lift it. Lift it up in the camera so they can see kind of what it looks like. Okay. One, two, three. Let me see what it looks like first. Okay. Looks like that. Ooh, it looks like confetti. Okay. I'm nervous. What if it doesn't turn out good? Oh, it will. My colors are. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your canvas. I just just sewed this, and. You're going to put put it in the camera. You're going to set it over your cup like this. Ready? Here we go. And then she's going to flip it and set the canvas on the uh, ricotta container right there. Ready? Now you can leave it sit for a few minutes if you want the bubbles to settle. I don't care. Oh, help, me. Oh, oh. help me. And just set it. Try to get it as even as you can. There okay, you go. I'm just going to let it sit for a minute and then I'll take it off. And you can see it's kind of seeping out a little bit, which is so exciting. I see the colors. These always remind me of a gobstopper. Are you ready? my age. Yep. Are you ready? Ready, go. Oh. Yeah. All right. That's not really even. <laughs> I know because the thing is not that. We're just going to do it a little bit. I don't want it to mix too much. It'll It'll go. Okay, it's running that way a little bit. Okay, here we do it. Just a little bit. Look how pretty though. What about it? Just try to get it. I know. You're gonna get dirty. No, it's not about being dirty. I'm trying to get it to spread. Now you can hear it. Sounds like rain. How uh how wet that is, which, you know, sometimes I don't do it as fluid, but I'm, I'm digging the more fluid. Try not spread it anymore. No, you want to. That's it. That's probably what I'll do. What you'll do. Try to do a little bit towards that corner. Well, I am. But... And then we'll get some of the bottom part and put it on there. Yeah, that's looking good. Em. Is it? Let it run to the corner. Mm -hmm. You need a paper towel ready for me. <laughs> and try to run it back to that corner. Like to the middle, like kind of where it was. Yeah, so the colors kind of flow that way. Yeah, now set it down. Yeah. The two corners aren't covered. That's all right. We're going to do it right now. All right, here's that for you. And what I'm going to do... I'll just take a piece of paper for now. No, you're going to use a torch. Oh, what? Yeah. I'm just going to kind of lightly... How are you going to do a torch? Scrape it. Hmm? Okay. Just kind of touching it. Easy. Yeah, I can't do it from that. You don't want it too heavy. You want it very light. That's yeah. way too heavy. <laughs> Yep, you did, but that's all right. It'll be fine. Okay. Ignore it. <laughs> all right. Now you can see how pretty it looks. So grab my torch over there. 
Really we're gonna push. see if we can bring up cells. Oh, is that how you do it? Well, cells okay, come in different it. ways. Tell me how to do it. Okay. I see a few popping up. Tell yeah. me how to do it. Look. No, you also did too heavy. What? You also did too heavy. That's alright. Okay, tell and me you what see, to do. So we want to turn this on. Just tell me and I'll do it. Hey, tell me. Turn on. it on. More. Okay. All right, push the button and leave it go. And not too close. You want to hold it up. Like that? Mm-hmm. And more. And move it all around fast. Yeah. Yeah, look at those cells coming. And you can see where it's breaking the cells. Oh, it's so exciting. And what the cells are is it's bringing color up from the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh gosh, yes. Go in the middle some. Now, when you're using these acrylic paints, when you're using the acrylic paints and the glazing medium, remember, we're putting heat on it. So you don't want it too close or it'll bubble and burn. And you don't um, want to do it forever because, oh, this is gorgeous, because it's drying. So you can, you're not going to be able to pour on top of this. You're not going to be able to manipulate this. You're not going to be able to move it. I know dying. it's not the best torch. I'm going to get a new one, but for now it works. That is gorgeous. Is it good? Is, are you fine with it? I mean, do you want more? I'll oh, do more. Go ahead. Do a little bit more in the middle and on the side. Like, yeah, just a little bit. Up. Oh, up. Oh, see bubble. what she did? She got held it too, that's all right. You held it too much in a bubble. Now go around the edges one time, just to kind of help. What that? Yeah. To kind of almost uh, seal it so it quits dripping. Let me try it. Okay, that's it. No more? Nope, we're good. Yeah. Look how pretty. Lift it? Yeah, lift it up. Mm. Nothing like doing uh, art with a OCD chick. Look how beautiful that is. Yep, do it like that, like that. Look at that. Hold it up a little bit more. Look at those. Look how beautiful. There is no baby oil. There is, there's nothing. There's nothing except glazing medium and Mod Podge. It's really interesting that you use heat. I didn't know you used heat. That's really cool. Yep. It is Because you can control gorgeous. where it happens. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I like that. I like that you can control it. And I love, look at this. You can see right here. That's pink. That's the light pink coming through, right? Look, that's the colors coming through hey. there. That red, or that orange. Hey, guess what? What? I picked some good colors. You did pick some good colors. <laughs> you did. So this is absolutely gorgeous. Do me a favor. Just put those all up there on the top, top shelf. So uh, yeah. Well, they need washed out. Well, here, put, let's pour that on the paper and see what we get. I just let them dry up and I peel it off when I'm done. I'm lazy, so I put it on the top shelf. And when I go to use it again, I peel the paint out because I like that. We'll call it peel porn, like uh, Simply Knowledgeable says. But I do enjoy it. So I'm just putting this on some paper. So if we're doing, let's say, an ATC card, all right, and you want to put it on there and get that background, look at that. So, I mean, you really Don't can't. Don't it on it. I'm not. And then you can see on the bottom a little bit, there's that color, which we can do. Pick that up just for a second. Well, give me something that I can press down there, see if we can pick it. Like, right here, that's what I was going to Can I use this? Yeah, go ahead. Let me use this. So this kind of set it. Yeah, we can press it. And then lift it up. <gasps> yeah. You didn't get it all the way pressed in. but you That's all right, drip it. You get the point. You really can't. I'll take it a little bit. So take, you know, go to your dollar store, get your poster board, cut it in two and a half by three and a half and uh, take them all. And you could, when I'll have her lift this up one more time, but you'll see the colors down there and you can make backgrounds for your ATCs or your art journal or for mixed media, whatever you want. Sorry, I'm trying to do this. <laughs> trying to cover it so we now can... if we use the heat gun 
Oh, wait, I can still use heat on this and try and do cells, right? You can try. Oh, I gotta get it covered all the way. That's right, it'll blow it. Well, do I wanna use this or do I wanna use that? Well, that's up to you. Mm. There's two of them if you can. I'm not gonna be able to see that on camera. But that's not doing anything. Yeah, I can try and do this in here. Can everybody see that? Yeah, grab that ATC card right there. Just Whichever. Like yeah, and put it down in the color. Show it. This is one I did that turned poopy gray. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have her torch two of these. I'm just gonna set it and give it a little push. I didn't forget. I, I heard you. I ignored you. Uh, it's kind of mixing too much, yeah. but. Okay, move. Uh, all right. But we're going to put both those there. Hey, and don't you... touch them. I'm not. <laughs> go. Go. Just watch the paint doesn't. Yeah. You want to be quick? It is the worst torch ever. Ah! That's too close. Nope, it's not. We'll do the other one. No. Paper stinks. Yeah, the paper's not working. That's all right. That canvas did, though. Yeah, no, look at it. Can you zoom in somehow? Yeah. Go to the side right there. Yep. It's the worst camera ever. Yeah, it is. It is. I, it's really bad. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. So that's all we used. I will put the link to Emily's channel down below. You can go check out plaidcrafts.com to get your Mod Podge and your glazing medium. You also can go Did to. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. You also can go to your local crafts, arts and crafts store. Use a coupon. Get, it's not expensive, guys. Uh, get your glazing medium. Get your Mod Podge mat. You can. Um, get them very inexpensive use a coupon bring your husband or your wife or your kid with yet you, you can use two coupons and use it i have tried a million different things this is literally acrylic paint glazing medium and mod podge mat and i'm going to seal it when it's dry usually i leave it sit for about it's early here in the morning but i'll leave it sit till you know after dinner to see if it's uh dry and if not i just leave it overnight and then i'll probably seal it and I mean, look how beautiful. You got this beautiful, does, you know, uh, does, piece of art. Does anyone want to buy this? <laughs> does anybody want to buy it? Emily <laughs> wants to know. If you do, after she seals it, let us know down below. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, she says. <laughs> plus shipping. Negotiation. That's the welcome. Yeah. Ten bucks plus shipping. Um, <laughs> yeah. So leave, if you want to, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this. Now, I want to show you something as we're sitting here. Look, those just came up. That looks like the inside of a gobstopper. You can see they're separating more as they dry. It looks like a geode. Yeah, it does look like a geode. But they're starting to separate a little bit more. I don't want the cat hair, please. But she's not. So, I mean, absolutely wonderful. So, please leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you try this, please tag me. All my social media accounts are down below. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on Facebook, on Google, where else? On YouTube. And uh, yeah, so you can tag me. I love seeing what you guys do. And remember, we're talking about progress, not perfection. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. And I will see you in my next video. Please share. Share me everywhere. Like I'm your loose friend. 